Things changed overnight in several key swing states, none bigger than Wisconsin, which has now officially been called for Joe Biden. Sean Gallagher shows us how things changed so drastically in the Badger State. A late night turned into an early morning here in Wisconsin. A lot of folks went to bed thinking President Trump had a strong grasp on the state of Wisconsin, but they woke up to much different news. Around 4 o'clock Central Time Wednesday morning, Wisconsin went from red to blue. And the biggest reason for that change came right here in Milwaukee. After counting all day and night, the city of Milwaukee finalized nearly 170,000 absentee ballots and delivered them to Milwaukee County to be added to the totals. When that happened, Joe Biden surged ahead, overcoming at the time a statewide deficit of more than 100,000 votes. I am very confident in our totals. The 169,519 absentee ballots are a record here in Milwaukee. So understandably, it took a very long time to fully count, nearly 20 hours. Megan Wolf with the Wisconsin Election Commission wholeheartedly stands by the validity of this election. Elections are such a deliberate, meticulous process uh, where each of our local election officials and our local communities are conducting this process in a public setting. Every piece of data is publicly available. Following Milwaukee, Biden received an additional bump in votes Wednesday morning from Green Bay and also Kenosha. Biden's lead grew to more than 20,000 votes, with 100% of precincts now reporting. President Trump's team has announced they will ask for a recount in Wisconsin. But under state law, the losing candidate must be within 1% of the winning candidate's total, and it's still unclear whether President Trump meets that criteria. In Wisconsin, we still have to count provisional ballots and also have the results verified. All of that could take weeks. In Milwaukee, Sean Gallagher, TMJ4 News.